Hi, I'm Mehek. Welcome to my life page. Today we will talk about makeup artistry. But first, let me tell you about myself. I'll tell you about my childhood. I've, uh, I'm born and brought up in Delhi. I went to school, uh, I went to CJM in New Delhi. And then I went to IILM. I did my BBA. After that, I took a one leap year. I worked with my father in the book business. We have retail outlets in Delhi. And uh, then I went back to college. I did an MSc in marketing from the same college, IILM, Lodi Road. After that, uh, I joined my father in the book business uh, at Texans Bookshop South Extension. I worked there from 2006 until 2011. I still do, but not as much. Like earlier, I was regular. And then in 2011, I just... I want to do something of my own and I, I've always been fond of makeup and fashion. So I, I don't know what went into me and I thought I could be a makeup artist. And then I, I went to my favorite makeup artist in Delhi, who's Mrig Nana. And she taught me the basics and uh, I was with, with her for a year and a half. I assisted her, I traveled with her and she taught me a lot. After that, I, I was on my own. I, I was a freelancer. I did a lot of brides, fashion shoots. I did a lot of a lot of work, and then in 2014, I thought I started to feel I need to learn more, and I needed uh, some more guidance. So then I went to um, a very good makeup academy called Fatmu in Bombay, and I was there for two months. I did a course there, and uh, it it taught me a lot. And I came back in 2014. Um, in Delhi and since then I've been freelancing and I've traveled a lot and for work I do brides, fashion, everything, party makeup and uh, yeah that's about it. According to me makeup is not about changing a, a person's face and not about changing any bride's face like not transforming, uh, definitely enhancing their features and that's what I believe in corrective makeup techniques and making the girl more beautiful, making her feel more beautiful, but definitely not changing her color, her complexion and her features so much that uh, her, you know, photographs, she looks like someone else. So that's not the kind of work I do. And uh, I stick to a natural makeup look and uh, and all the people, all, all brides and all, all, all people who are fond of natural makeup come to me. And uh, yeah, that's what I think makeup should do. First point is magazines and videos. Well, I, I honestly feel uh, you don't have to be qualified to be a makeup artist. And there are so many people, uh, due respect to everyone, even if they're not qualified. I mean, right now we're not talking about school. We're talking about uh, what we learn from everyday life. So I learn a lot from fashion magazines and, you know, that's like, you see an actor and actress on the cover of a magazine and you want to do a makeup like that and that that really really is inspiring well, technology is very important today i think somebody uh, who a makeup artist has to be tech savvy has to be you know on insta on facebook on youtube if you can so these are all a part of technology and i think technology is is really essential I think today um, Instagram and Facebook are two really important uh, platforms for uh, our work, which everybody sees. Well, the first is, I think, uh, satisfaction because, uh, you know, the happiness you get when you just dress up a bride when she's all ready, when she's going for her wedding. It's just beautiful. I feel great that I, I made her day more beautiful. Well, the biggest uh, today is definitely competition. Um, I mean, what the competition we have today, we didn't have even like four years back, five years back. There are just so many makeup artists and they're just getting, you know, the number is increasing by the day. So that is a little, I mean, it can be dawning, but I guess it's part of the work. If it's an early morning, it's a morning bride, if it's a Sikh bride, or any morning South Indian bride, then you really have to wake up early. And then the previous night, I've like cleaned my brushes, I've packed my bag, so I don't have to waste my time. So you rush and you reach the venue. I mostly reach the venue and you just do the makeup and then you just want to come back home and then just relax. 
and then that's all and if it's an evening bride like you know if she, she has to be ready by 7 pm 8 pm so you start your day normal and then i i have my uh, i always clean my brushes on my own i don't let my system do it because i'm very finicky so that's something really important i, I shampoo them and i clean them i wash them with conditioner and they always clean my brush is always clean which is very essential today and that's it and then i just carry my light uh, it can be tiring sometimes, you know, if, they're, you know, if it's, the makeup is too far away from my house and then if it's in a farm or some venue like that, then, you know, if the Bharat comes late and the girl says, oh, I don't want to be ready before 9 p.m. or 8.30 p.m. and then you really can't say anything to her. So, for example, she says 9 p.m. So, by the time you reach the venue, leave the venue, it's 9.15 and you're home at 10. So, it, can, it does get late. But like I said, it's not every day. It's a few days in a year or a month sometimes. So, that's okay. That's how it is. Well, I hope I've given you a balanced view on makeup artistry. Thank you for watching my video.